AMR is a, is a huge global threat to public health. Uh, at the global scale, we estimate that about 700,000 deaths are related to antimicrobial resistance. We expect these to increase. In the European Union, the estimations are 33,000 deaths. These are huge numbers in terms of lives. And unless uh, radical actions and accelerated multi-sectorial actions taken, we don't expect these to, to decrease. <laughs> Sui 33.000 morti che sono stati stimati in Europa per il problema dell'antimicrobico resistenza, eh, so 10.000 riguardano solamente l'Italia. L'Italia è un paese grande, che ha molti abitanti, è un paese in cui l'antibiotico resistenza è un problema importante e quindi pesa molto su questo problema in Europa. When it comes to cancer, uh, there is actually a few cancers that you can't treat at all unless you have antibiotics. Leukemia is a, was one of them. And very often, under treatment of cancer, uh, your immune system is very low and it's very easy to get infections. It could be because of, of surgery or, or chemo or other things. And also after treatment, if you live with side effects or with cancer, often also your immune system is low and, and it's easy to get infections. So you need antibiotics and you need antibiotics that works. Uh, as far as we see it now, if there's not a change and we get new antibiotics in the future, more cancer patients will not survive, they will actually die. And they will not die of cancer, they will die of an infection they got during the treatment. We are facing phenomena of, of invisibility. People do not see nothing, they do not understand. Oh, it would be good to, 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 to see headline. Oh, attention please. This year we lost 700,000 deaths. Can we ask CNN or, or BBC or Euronews to send, send, to send messages? We asked the, the professionals are there situations where um, you think during the last week where you would have uh, felt that you, you should not have prescribed antibiotics, but still you did it? And what was the reason? And the, the most common reason is the fear that the patient will not get better, but will even deteriorate, that this, there will be complications for, for the patients. abbiamo osservato una leggera flessione. Certo la flessione è molto breve, non, ci, non cambia diciamo, la situazione dell'Italia in Europa che è la situazione più critica insieme a quella della Grecia, però mi sembra un segnale positivo. When people are aware they may not use, demand, prescribe antibiotics in situations where they're not necessary. And I suspect that it's part of what has happened uh, in, in Italy, and it's the reason why we, there is a decreasing antibiotic consumption. L'utilizzo del farmaco è inteso come antibiotico è prevalentemente nelle prime fasi della vita del, del suino dove sono le, 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 le fasi più delicate, le fasi in cui si hanno dei, le, un animale molto più sensibile alle temperature e quindi anche gli ambienti eh, hanno bisogno di particolari cure. Per questo motivo le, le prime fasi, le, nelle prime fasi si utilizza una certa quantità di antibiotico. Cos'è che pesa di più? Pesa di più i trattamenti di massa. Quindi vedete la linea blu, la colonna che sono i trattamenti di massa e per noi è importante sapere che la stragrande maggioranza del consumo è legata al trattamento di massa. Il problema principale nella suinicoltura adesso è che ci sono moltissimi trattamenti che vengono fatti 
per via orale e di massa soprattutto e questo rappresenta eh, la difficoltà maggiore nella riduzione dell'uso dell'antibiotico perché storicamente è sempre eh, stato più facile somministrare l'antibiotico con il mangime. Yeah, so throughout Europe there is a, there is a general awareness of the problem. So there is a, a, a reduction, a slow reduction in the antimicrobial usage in animals. But some countries, and then specifically if we talk about more Nordic countries, the Scandinavian countries, the Netherlands, also Belgium, and we have done a lot of work. Germany has done a lot of uh, work to reduce their antimicrobial usage. If we go a little bit more south, Uh, there is still a bit of work to do and also eastern countries and uh, there the reductions are they have started and some countries like Italy they have started to do a lot of work but they, they started at a very high level so there is still a lot of reduction uh, to be done.